The statue did it. It killed Zacharias. Calm yourself now, Sir Charles. You've had a shock. Let the police do their duty. What can a mere inspector like you do about it? You don't know anything. A mere inspector? Sure. And now here comes Mr. Holmes. Lestrade, are you here to receive a prize as well? <laughs> Very amusing, Holmes. You can go home. The ceremony's been cancelled. We've got a murder scene here. Really? And to think I only came here for my prize. I know, Holmes. I saw your name on the list of finalists. So go away. You're not going to congratulate me. What? Do you really think I'm that naive? You turning up out of the blue and then bam, a murder? There's a surprise. Oh, you're making a spectacle of yourself, Lestrade. Let's just pretend that I'm a simple uh, consultant, your humble assistant. Oh, all right then. A club member, Mr. Zacharias Greystoke, was killed at around four in the morning. There. Now don't mess around. I promise that I won't, Inspector. What do you make of the facts? It's quite clear. The murderer intended to steal the Mayan calendar. He was caught by Zacharias Greystoke. He then took up the first weapon that came to hand, the statue's spear, and killed Greystoke. Then he fled, just as Sir Charles was coming out of the club. Unfortunately, we've been unable to find any trail beyond the club's wall. It's as if the murderer vanished into thin air. Well, take a look for yourself. The surface is damaged. Traces of metal on stone. The iron mounting rod is broken. The statue of Takunu Man. Traces of metal on stone. It looks like the statue broke away from its pedestal. And what about the statue? I've no idea yet. I imagine the thief must have taken it somehow. Hmm. Right. So there were thieves, and they were very well equipped? Yes, must have been. But then there's also Sir Charles's version, but... Uh... Please, go on. <laughs> he said this morning that he was alone at his desk when he heard a shout. He went outside and saw Greystoke lying on the ground, and... Believe it or not, he said that there was no one else on the green that night but the statue itself running away. <laughs> you mean that the statue might have killed the victim? Interesting. Absurd, more like. Besides, it was dark and foggy. So, somewhat like your version, then. Dry leaves. They make a noise. Zacharias probably walked across them. Zacharias's folder with some documents. These drawings represent the Mayan symbols. The case is scratched and dented. Tissot watch, Swiss, 1855. This watch is valuable and old. It's been through a great deal. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. Money was left inside the wallet. All valuables were left on the victim. The strike was powerful and well aimed. If I believe Lestrade, this Mayan calendar was the reason behind the murder. Only club members have access. Sir Charles, are you able to tell me in detail what happened? Ah, Mr. Holmes. Well, to prepare for the awards ceremony, I decided to spend the night here at the club. I was sitting alone at my desk when I suddenly heard a loud, metallic sound and a terrible shout. 
I hurried outside and... and well, I found the body of Zacharias. And I swear it. I saw the statue of Tekun Uman running away. You saw the statue running. It, it was dark, but yes, I'm sure of it. It was running, and it was making the most horrible metal sound as it did so. And can't you see? The pedestal is now empty. Did you know the victim? Yes, of course. It was Zacharias Greystoke. He is... Oh, was a club member, and an excellent bowler. But why was he here so early in the morning? Oh... I don't know. Sir Charles, where did the Mayan calendar come from? It was donated anonymously. We received it shortly before the tournament, with a letter asking that it be awarded to the winner. Is the calendar valuable? Uh, not really. It has historical value, of course. But to be truthful with you, Mr. Holmes, it isn't worth very much. May I go in the clubhouse? It's members only. I cannot authorize anyone unless that person has a written warrant from the police. A broken branch. Somebody jumped into the tree and then over the wall. Did you search the clubhouse? What for? The murder took place outside. It looks as if Zacharias was killed the moment he approached the calendar, and killed by the spear from Takun Uman's statue that jumped from its stand and escaped over the wall. Well, Holmes, your conclusions as my consultant? My conclusions are approximate to Sir Charles's testimony. <laughs> oh dear, you think the statue did it? Everything points to the fact that the spear was thrown from the pedestal and Mr. Greystoke appeared not to notice the killer. Oh, indeed. The journalists will be ecstatic about your version. <laughs> I would like to examine the victim and take a look at his belongings. Oh, you've amused me at least, Mr. Holmes. Very well. I'll grant you authorization for the examination at Scotland Yard, but nothing more. <laughs> 